Well, folks, let's not let the weather knock us down. We're doing some armadillo eggs in this smoker today. So let's get started. We'll start by taking the top off of the jalapeno. And I like to use this little peeler to get the core and seeds out. Then just repeat the process. I'm doing 15 jalapenos today. Into a mixing bowl, I get a block of cream cheese, two cups of shredded Colby Jack, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, and one tablespoon of Dano's Spicy. Then we just give it all a mix. Next, we transfer that mixture into a Ziploc baggie and cut one of the corners off so we can pipe in that mixture into the jalapenos. And repeat the process for however many jalapenos you have. Next, since I have 15 jalapenos, I'm going to get three pounds of breakfast sausage, add some crushed red pepper, and some Dano Spicy. Then just get that all nice and mixed up. Each one of these jalapenos takes about a third cup of sausage, maybe just a little bit more if the jalapenos are bigger. So I like to prep these little meatballs and get them set up. Next, we take the jalapeno, flatten the sausage out as much as we can, and then start wrapping the sausage around the jalapeno to form kind of an egg shape like this. And then just repeat the process as many times as you need. I think you get the point, so let's move on. It takes about two strips of bacon per armadillo egg, so I used two pounds of bacon for these 15 eggs. The sausage helps the bacon to stick to the egg, but if you need to, you can add toothpicks, but this is what you want it to look like. After you get all the eggs wrapped in bacon, you season it with your favorite rub. I'm using Meat Church's Honey Bacon Barbecue. Next, I'm adding the meat stick to keep an accurate account of the temperature inside. You want the sausage to reach an internal temperature of 165, but the cheese will be hot. Then we get it into the smoker, and I like to smoke mine at 275 to crisp that bacon up real nice. This is a lot of bacon going into this smoker. And if you have a master-built vertical propane smoker, I suggest putting some drip pans underneath of that bacon so your smoker does not catch on fire. After one hour, I like to come in, take the tray out, and rotate it 180 degrees and place it back in just to ensure a more even cook of the armadillo eggs. Okay, everybody, for two hours. Now it's time to hit it with your favorite barbecue sauce. I'm going to be using a sweet apple and Traeger. Oh, yeah. Those are beautiful. Bacon's crisped up real good. Let's get some barbecue sauce on top. We're going to hit each one with the brush here. Gives these a nice color. Gives it a good taste. And just get them all brushed. Barbecue sauce is optional. You don't have to do it, but I like it. So these go back in for 20 minutes here just to pack that sauce up. All right, 20 minutes. Woo! Look at those little beauties right there. Time to come out. After it comes out, rest it about 10 minutes before you slice it. This way ensures a crispier pepper. If you don't like your pepper crisp, or boil it about five minutes before you do it. Take a look at that. That cream cheese is nice and ooey gooey. Check out that smoke ring going around. Woo, baby, you gotta get yourself some of that. Let's try it out. All right, Texas staple on the dillo eggs. Good right there. See that smoke ring going all the way through it. Toast oak, hickory. Good mixture, Dano seasoning, really good. If you haven't tried an armadillo egg this way, you need to try it. That's it for West Virginia Smoking, Grilling, and Outdoors for today. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment if you have anything to say, and share it on any social media outlet you desire. Until next time, we'll see you.